Hi guys and welcome to today's video where we finally have some news on the beetles. They have been breeding. <laughs> So initially this update was going to be in the video where I just updated you guys on how the geckos have been doing since we moved and this was the clip, the chaos, the absolute chaos that occurred with the beetles during the update. It doesn't really matter, the thing that makes me... <laughs> the thing that makes me jump is when they suddenly just start... <laughs> that was literally the perfect example of what I was worried about. One sec, let me get a stick. Right, that's it, come on, come on. That is literally what I was worried about, oh my goodness, okay. Came out of the beetle butt, oh my goodness. <laughs> so yes, if you didn't know uh, these beetles can fly, <laughs> it's quite loud. Anyway, within that video, I was also going to mention that I had actually spotted multiple beetles breeding. I mean, I had some in the leaves, I had some in the Pangea. I'd been offering sort of a thick, dry Pangea to them. They seem to like it, but I've also been you know, they've had leaves, wood, actual rotting fruit, so they've had a lot. But basically what they do is they like tickle on each other's heads, it kind of reminds me of little turtles. Tickle, tickle. Oh, well, amazing. This is great. Now whilst filming this all happening, all of a sudden, this crab-like arm came out of the male's bottom, okay? Now, there's probably a scientific name for it, and I'm sure it's not an arm, um, but it like stabbed the female in the back. This is seen in animals such as bean weevils, fruit flies, even bed bugs. I believe it's called traumatic insemination. Very traumatic indeed. Now, I thought this was the most I was gonna see. Like, what are the chances of actually seeing that emerge and happen, you know? It's kind of cool. So, I gathered that following this, the beetles will probably lay eggs down in the dirt, I won't see anything. Wow. I was watching the beetles and noticed this white gloopy thing coming out in front of them, kind of on its back actually. And once again, probably has a scientific name. So I looked into it, that white gloopy thing was an egg. So the females will actually lay one egg at a time. I, you know, sometimes I like the experience, the excitement, what's going to happen. Like when I had mealworms for the first time, I didn't look up anything to do with how they metamorphosize so I could witness it with my own eyes firsthand and be excited about it. So I did the same with pumpkins once but I thought they grew under the ground. I don't know why. I'd never been to a pumpkin patch. Anyway, I hadn't, I'd actively not looked into this. I just assumed the beetles will go to the, into the dirt, lay a bunch of eggs and that'll be it. But no, they do one egg at a time. Usually down in the substrate. For some reason she was doing this on the roof but each to their own, maybe it was nice up there. Now, as I said, you know, they lay one egg at a time, but it doesn't actually take long to hatch. So I put some decaying apple down in the dirt because I figured they probably have laid some eggs in that dirt. Um, and as soon as they hatch out, I want them to find food quite easily, but they will also have leaves and rotting wood to eat. <laughs> look what I just found. So it's been a while since I recorded the start of this video um, and I hadn't really seen any grub and I was worried the dirt was actually too dry and maybe they'd the eggs had dried out. So I thought right I'm gonna have a look around, I'm gonna dig around a little bit and I just found our first grub. Now there could be many more, I will pop him back. So I carried on digging and there's an even smaller one So as you can see, we have a few different sizes. Now that was actually on top of one of the beetles in here. So we do have babies. I don't know in total how many they actually, how many eggs they lay, but hopefully we don't get overrun. Now if you are wondering about these grubs, you can technically um, use them as feeders. I have had a few people tell me that if you do do that though, to cut the head off first because um, they have a powerful jaw, However, um, since this is our first generation, and I don't know if we're gonna have loads, I don't know, they're constantly breeding though. I don't plan on feeding any of these to my geckos. Um, I'm just really excited to find little grubs. Now, this is incredibly gross looking, but this is a defrosted bit of banana. It really is as gross as it looks. It looks like it should be censored. It's disgusting, but they love it, and it's very mushy. So I'm gonna leave that in there. Now I know I've got grubs and everything. I'm super excited. So this is probably as far as we go in terms of 
the development. We have seen them breed. We have seen their babies. I think it'll be a, bit, a while before the larvae are fully grown and pupate and do the cycle again, but it's cool to see it come in full circle, you know? Um, but before I end, I thought I would talk you through what it's like owning these guys because it has actually been incredibly interesting personally, like having just a display insect. I don't know how much I would find it interesting, but it is, and during the day you just watch them and they go about their day. Um, there are some downsides though, obviously they eat decaying fruit, and so sometimes the tank can smell a bit. It does smell sometimes like a bin. Um, and that does attract flies. And also, something I've noticed just whilst going through the uh, dirt is, I don't know if these are spider mites or something else. There's these tiny creepy crawlies, and when I go on my hand, they make them so itchy. So I wash my hands straight away, but I'm worried if they are a pest, I don't want them getting into my other bioactive tanks. Um, so yeah, there are some downsides to having this. Obviously, I'm concerned about how many babies we might get, and. We might have to get like a bigger tank, I don't know. I know I will be sending some out. Uh, some of my friends have requested to have beetle grub. <laughs> um, so I'm sure we'll find plenty. But yeah, I thought you'd enjoy this video. Um, a quick update on these guys. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.